Good morning, Beltline Tigers. This is Mrs. Hawthorne, your principal with the morning announcements. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the Texas Pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for the Beltline Pledge. I am proud to be a Beltline Tiger. I'm one of the best and brightest. I can do anything I set my mind to. I pledge to work hard, respect myself and others, make good choices, and believe in myself at all times. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. All right. Happy New Year, Beltline Tigers. We are so glad to see your bright and cheerful faces in the place or on the screen. We are so glad that you made it. You're here. You're happy. You're safe. And so we hope that you had a restful break and that you're back here ready to rock and roll, to do your very best and to work extremely hard. So we're so thankful to see you back here. Thank you to all of our teachers and staff uh, for coming back <laughs> um, and just for working so hard that first semester. We're going into uh, this the end of this third six weeks and we'll be starting the second semester here shortly. And so we know that uh, moving forward now we have about three weeks until benchmark two. So we have a lot to prepare for and to make sure that we are able to do our very best on those tests okay all right so let's get started uh, i don't have any birthdays uh this morning and so um if i have birthdays i don't have my birthday list okay but if for those of you who celebrated a birthday over the holidays we say happy birthday to you happy belated birthday to you we know we have staff members as well who celebrated a birthday on um over the holidays so hopefully you had a wonderful birthday over the break all right so today uh, we will be beginning our Jan January ICEP testing so teachers please make sure that um, students are getting online uh, throughout this week to go ahead and get their January testing out of the way um, <clears throat> as well uh, GT nominations are due by the 8th and so parents, teachers, staff, if you have uh, students who you'd like to nominate for our GT, our Gifted and Talented program, please make sure that you are getting that information submitted. If you have any questions about that, you can reach out to Ms. Nimmer, our counselor, okay? Um, as well, we will have our cluster on Thursday, teachers, so please be planning accordingly for that. And... Um, I believe that's it on announcements. Just a reminder to our parents, uh, we do have several students who are showing up face-to-face -face, uh, today and because you made that selection. So this will be your second week of the six weeks for face-to-face -face instruction. Just a reminder that if your child is face-to-face, -face, that you're not flip-flopping back and forth between virtual and face-to-face. -face. A parent has the right at any point to decide to go virtual. Once you go virtual, we do ask that you remain virtual until the end of the six weeks, until you can complete that survey again. It's hard for us to keep up with our attendance records if you're going back and forth between virtual and face-to-face. -face. So please make a decision and stick to that decision for the remainder of the six weeks. All right, these have been our announcements for today. Remember, our hope for you students is to take ownership for your learning and to work hard each and every day towards self-sustaining success. So when I say own it, you say work it. Own it! That's right, I heard you, Pre-K-3. Let's have a magnificent Monday.